I found the stash note a while back. Stash number 12 that led me to this AKM that I found tucked underneath a truck beside the factory. The stash note struck me as odd, specifically the wording and how it was written. Radius Almighty, please accept my gifts. I left them in the Probeta Pillar Grove under the Iron Beast Betty, just like you told me to. I beg you have mercy on us, the sinners. This note is not a regular stash note. This is a prayer. The explorer who wrote this note was worshipping the Radius like a deity. He was instructed by the Radius itself to leave this rifle as well as two mags and ammo hidden together. But the Radius doesn't speak. So who told him to leave the sacrifice? I need to have a look around the zone and see if I can find any evidence of this explorer. Thankfully, I think I know where to start. While I'm out, I'll take on a couple jobs. There's a black box by the helicopter wreckage in Bulaki, and a group of hostiles in the factory area that need to be removed. Simple enough jobs to make some quick cash. As for my weapon, I may as well fix up this AKM and give it some new life. With a few attachments, I have made this weapon my own. The first place I want to investigate is actually not far from where I'll find the black box. The basement of the construction site in Bulaki. It's some food. But first, I will need to fight my way to the site. After I clear out the village, I decide it's not worth wandering through the web-infested woods in the dark, so I crash in the swamp safe house and continue my trek in the morning. morning light, I approach the building and prepare myself for another fight. one more mimic on the roof of the building, but he wasn't going to bother me when I entered the basement. So I let him live, while I crawled into the dark pits of despair that lay under the infested ruins filled with deadly anomalies and monsters, whose only goal is to bring me harm. Yep, this is my normal life as an explorer. Anyway, the first place I wanted to look at was right there, the end of the long and dark hallway. A table with a lavish display of teacups, books, picture of a squirrel, all lit up by a single light bulb. Strangely enough, there's a document file on the back corner of the table that I cannot pick up. This is a strange find, yes, but I believe this shrine was left by the same explorer who hid the AKM. The wooden backdrop, the many items on the table, and the focused lighting makes this an ideal shrine. 
there's no information of what the shrine is dedicated to. Only a picture of a squirrel that can be found in other locations of the radius. My guess is that this is meant for the radius itself. The documents on the table are the biggest clue. As this item is not meant to be interacted with, this could only have been left by an explorer who wanted to return the information the UNPSC had gathered. There are no clues to who built the shrine in the first place, but considering that the builder was dedicated to the worship of the radius, my safe guess is it's still the guy who wrote the Stash 12 note. After gathering all the available loot, I make my way out of the construction site to locate the black box. Holy crap! That's a lot of hostiles. There's a surprising amount of hostiles around the crash site, including a few armored mimics. This could be more challenging than expected. Ah! Ow! 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 That was close. Okay. Spawn I can deal with. How convenient. Yeah, they were armored, that makes sense. Shoot, armored mimics way out here. Not even that deep in the radius. Can't forget the box. The box was secured, and after grabbing a few extra artifacts, I start the slow trip home. There you are. At least the village is already cleared out. What are you doing knee deep in the water? I, I hate these yes. swamps as oh. Okay then, enjoy yourself. After cleaning and selling the loot for my run, I sleep through the night and make a new mission plan in the morning. The right. UNPSC says a wristwatch needs to be picked up. Uh, Thankfully, it's on the way to the factory. There, How convenient. Thingy. <laughs> hey, what's this doing out here? Okay, what do we got? The watch was reportedly inside one of the two flooding sheds among the gas cluster. However, 
There was a surprise waiting for me. Okay, I see the box. But by the sounds of that, there are a lot of hostiles inside that one shed. And they're armored. Armored mimics. And many spawn. Good shot inside is gonna be hard to get. Huh. Oh, I got one. Gross. Two spawn dead. Ah, if I could just get a shot on the mimic. Ah, I could just see him right. I pointed out with my left eye. There he is. Come on. Oh, I got the other spawn. That's three. Oh, I hit him. Dead mimic. Dead spawn. That's actually what I require. And the wristwatch. He's walking up this thing. He's actually walking up. He's actually walking up the spire or the the walkway. What do you call this thing? I have never seen a phantom actually walk on these platforms. They never will again. Now that I had the watch, I needed to make my way to the factory and find the hostile patrol. Got ourselves a seeker. Check around a corner. The mission briefing said that I can find the targets between the factory offices and a warehouse in the middle of the region. I think they spotted me. Yep, they spotted me. To ensure I have enough ammo for the fight, I try to remain as quiet as possible and sneak past all the other threats. Before I get to the mission, I set some time aside to restock a nearby safe house. <sighs> okay, what have we got here? Something to get me home if I need it. There was no avoiding the right, inevitable. To deal with it. it was now time to fight. There's one. One seeker down. There's definitely more of these guys, right? There we go. What do you mean I'm empty? That's just no good. Oh, good. Ow! Ow! Ah! ah. I have no idea where these guys are. That's not good, that's not good. Day of a firefight here. There he is. There's more. Whew. Shoot, there's one more in there. Over there, too. Ooh. Sniper got a beat on me. Yep, there he is. Oh, mimic. There 
go. And then one more guy in there. Oh, now I'm empty. That was one of the more intense fights I'd have been in for a while. The scattered bodies prove that. You okay there, buddy? Let's say no. Ooh. But I found something beside the concrete slabs. What does this mean? This appears to be a code of some kind. How to read it is beyond Let's my say scope of cross knowledge. Or four is sections. this also evidence of the explorer One, who left two stash twelve notes? Side by side. No, I would probably One say this is a code left by another other. explorer, probably trying to communicate with his team. Is it but with the compass? again, I have no, no idea how to read this. Compass. That's that's the compass. Time to move on. There's one more location I want to check out that could lead to evidence of the explorer who worshipped the radius. But the location is all the way in Kolhoff. Okay, first of all... And to make matters worse, I would need to go through the quarry outpost to reach it. Before I head down to the quarry, I want to take a look around for any gear that I may huh. be able to use. Oh! 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 An anomaly box! Heck yeah! Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Ah, uh, just a shotgun. Holy crap! I'm walking here! Oh, my heart's beating so fast right now. Oh. Oops. In the cave safe house, I start unloading the gear I'd saved in my bag, leaving the gear here as a backup stash. In the morning, I make my way through the canyon, right. carefully removing any and all hostiles along the way. Holy crap, that's a sniper. Ow! What's he doing out here? This guy's dying. <sighs> Just got him. Back to the wall. That hurt. Wow, I'm alive. Okay. Holy crap, I got lucky. And he's stuck in the wall. Or floor, I guess. Oh, I still have one more shrine I need to visit. Oh. You're also stuck in there. Hmm. Oh, cool. Machete, some sniper ammo. Nice. Soon I came to the obstacle I could not avoid. The outpost. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of gunfire. Cool. Got one. Oh, yep. That stung. And the kneecap, why not? Ow! Ah! 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 Where's my gun? There you are, sheesh! Ah! Hey, no. Dang it. 
Shortest way is often the most dangerous, and it's definitely one of those times. Ah. How many rounds have I got in this thing anyway? 15. Great. That might work. How did that not get him? How the heck did that grenade not get him? The road to Kolhaz was now clear. Oh, cool. Another gun case. <sighs> Ooh, a block. A couple extra stuff. Ooh, yeah. All right. Well, the shine is just past this road. I chose this road to Kolhaz because it would take me directly to the next location I wanted to investigate. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of people. But I need to be careful not to draw too much attention to myself, as I was running out of ammo for both my AKM and see my See if this M9. knife be enough to get through your armor? Probably not. Nope. Nope. Ah! Ow! Machete for you. Yeah. There we go. Okay, here's the other shrine. Not as decorative, but it's definitely something. Here <laughs> under a power line sits a fridge with several seats facing ammo. it. The fridge it's somehow has power. Tiny bits of you can ammo. often find up to five Nothing random in rounds in inside. Just Somebody dragged this fridge out here what I believe and set this here. all up intentionally. Perhaps this was huh. meant to be a place of worship. A place where an explorer could come and place a sacrifice in the fridge. Or maybe the explorer would come here to be given a blessing. I'm sure this location is tied to the explorer who wrote the stash number 12 note. However, there are three seats here. If this was a shrine, this was made for a group. This was the work of a cult. There was more than one explorer who worshipped the radius. With three seats here, that could mean that there are more people involved in this cult. This it's hard to say for sure, as all the evidence I have can I only be considered know. as loose evidence or even speculation. But I believe this location and the shrine under the construction site may be linked evidence of a cult. Mm -hmm. There is one more location I want to see while I'm here. I want to look into the cemetery in the woods by the town. Come on, buddy boy. Let's see you play. Ow. Okay, he played. It's the only other place I can think of that has any kind of cult related activity. Come on. Come on. There we go. Then here, just a lady staring at this grave. There's not too much here, but something does stand out to me. First, there's a grave that somebody dug up and set fire to a casket. This. Someone dug up this grave and set it on fire. That's weird. Second, there are boxes that I believe to be other coffins piled up by the shed. Certainly not normal behavior to find in a graveyard. Surprising amount of, well, boxes and imaginary coffins. Why are they stacked up like this? The fact that they're all stacked up like this and piled over there definitely leads me to some questions. Is it cult related? Hard to say. There's no shrine like or much. other cult-like evidence around here. I draw on one to the Just a strange fire. I'm not convinced this is cultish activity. Just strange activity. 
not really seeing anything else here. Oh! Oh! oh. Ah. Crap! Ah. Yay! Ugh. Having not finding any convincing evidence of cult activity and getting shot at, I decide it's time to get out while I can. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna stick around there. Time to go home. Three hours. Can I make it back in three hours? At this point, I've run into a problem. I have only three hours before the tide moves in. I need to get back to Vano before time runs out or I face the risk of running through Kolhaz with very little ammo. Would I rather be stuck out here or be stuck in Balotki? I'm not even sure I'd make it to Balotki safely yet. <sighs> Wait, 30? Yep, yeah, 30. Anything I can drop to kind of lower the, the weight? Not enough. Yeah. That might work. Okay, drop in the mile. Oh, that's better. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I mean, I'm closer now, so that might help. How much time do I have left? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, I don't think I can make that. Darn it, I'm so close. Ah, oh, that's what I get for wandering into the fog. Two seconds. Come on, 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 No! No, I was... Oh! The tide got me. Shoot. Oh, that's gonna screw me up. How much ammo do I even have for these? A little bit. The tide was activated the same moment I oh. entered the fog. Maybe I can just make a the run for it. The tide dropped me off at the opposite end of the region. Definitely can't go back that way now. Low on ammo, and with the area now reset with new hostiles, I had to try my luck <sighs> in the fog in the hope that I would come out closer to the road to Vano. Oh hey, weather probe. What are you doing over here? Huh. Must get dropped. Somebody walking through here just dropped it. Oh. Wow. I wandered the entire way around. Hmm. Oh. That ain't so bad. A gamble paid off. Oh, buddy. What are you doing out here? I don't even feel like trying to take on that tower. I escape. That's my plan. <sighs> Thinks I can go home now. Hello, turret. I'm late, but I'm home. Yeah. In the safety of Vano, I turn in my mission items and sort out my loot. All the while, I take some time to reflect on my investigation. The explorer who wrote Stash 12 clearly worshipped the Radius as a deity. But he was not the only one. There was a group of them that were dedicated to the Radius cult. Together, they built shrines around the radius, leaving sacrifices and gifts to the orb in the sky. How many explorers made up this cult we may never know, but the relics they left behind remain for us to see. But this brings up a question, why did the cult see the radius as something to be worshipped? In Stash Note 12, it says the explorer was instructed to leave his rifle under the truck, but who told him? Was it the Radius himself that gave him guidance? I think another Stash Note has the key to understanding this question. Stash Note 20 says this. I was so close. The Radius showed me the way. 
She needed me. She was calling. What a silly way to die. Right by the water as I almost made it to the heart of the castle. Almost. Gotta get more equipment and try again. I'll get you out of there, mommy. I promise. The explorer was trying to get to the heart of the castle, just like I was. When I went to the castle, I went in to find Katya and try and free her. But this explorer was looking for someone else. He called them Mommy. Katya looks a bit too young to be a mother in my eyes, so I doubt he mistook her for his own mom. I think the explorer who wrote Stash Note 20 never saw Katya at all. Instead, was guided by the radius in the form of something else. Something calling themselves his mother. The radius used Katya's form we play through. She approached us and guided us to the castle. But the radius may have used other forms for other explorers. The guy who wrote Stash 20 was most likely led by someone claiming to be his own mother, but was nothing more than the radius in disguise. The same can be said for the cult members. They probably saw the radius in a deity form, claiming to be a god or something to be worshipped, giving them instructions and guiding them to the castle. Each generation of explorers may see a different figure to guide them through the fog and eventually find their way to the castle. But why? Why would the radius come to people in different forms just to have them end at the same goal, reaching the castle? I'm saving that information for a later video. That part, it's gonna get complex.